Okay, here we are. It's Brent uh, with Path and Tarot, and we are in the Path and Tarot suite uh, in a new, uh, in a new way, in a new format. Uh, same cards, different size. They've been uh, resized into a playing card, something that fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, so what we've done is we've taken the Path and Tarot deck and just shrunk it down and fit it into the playing card size, uh, and then added another 22 major arcana cards to the playing card deck so you've got the, the 56 plus the 22 to make your 78 cards uh, they've got a little bit of a different design but things have been unified a little bit more uh, and of course the element cards have uh, are, are still there in their same uh, playing card uh, size so so they're all together in one big deck now um, originally in uh, this this series, this tarot reading series, we had um, the, the Path and Tarot Suite and its tarot size, uh, and that was a previous uh, version of the deck. But now it's the same thing, except now it's just shrunk down into the playing card size. So here here we are. Let's let's do a divination for you uh, here right now. So wherever uh, you're seeing this, um, just think, hey, you know, uh, what can I learn from this? What are the unknown things? And we're just going to draw a few cards and we will talk about it. We'll, we'll see what we can get from this here. Uh, so there there's 231 cards, so 75 cards for the elements and two uh, two sets of 78. To give us 231, I believe I've done the math right. If not, then you can correct me. <laughs> so there is our first card. We've got the element of air. Let's maybe shrink this down just a little bit here. And we'll do another card to put it over there, like so. And boom, boom. Okay, here we go. Uh, ooh, this is kind of neat. You know, there. it's fun... Um, to look at uh, the, the patterns. I, I think um, like the Path and Tarot Suite as a whole does really well to make uh, pattern um, you know recognition you know fairly easy right um, you know dealing with just like colors and like you know the simple uh, shapes that are you know part of the symbolism of uh, the, the, the tarot. So it's easy to pick up that you know we've got a king the king of pentacles right sub-element it's got two elements in there and then we've got uh the the, the queen the queen of clubs in this case again a, a sub-element right water inside of fire uh you know the queen of cups is a is a well-grounded uh, mature woman that's very practical so it, it fits into the divine feminine energy set and the king fits into the divine masculine set um uh, receiving, um, you know, part of the, the, the queen's energy and um, sending, right? There's send and receive, uh, action, receive, that that sort of, uh, if you want to boil it down that way, you, you know, you can do that. You can look at it, think, you can look at it that way. Um, but there's a kind of interesting connection here because you got a king and a queen, so you've got some, some really good balance. And you both have uh, the, there's there's fire energy that's involved here. So if we're if you're asked if you've asked about yourself, then this is a good sign that says in terms of like your ability to communicate um, and and take action, you can say that's very well balanced. Um, you are engaged in that process. There's a lot of uh, grounded energy that comes from the pentacle suit, um, and then the fire suit. Uh, the clubs, uh, you know, the wands, that, that type of energy has a lot of vitality that's embedded into it so that you're, you're, you're communicating, you know, with gusto, right? Like with, with your whole being, but it's coming from a place of grounded and proper energy, right? It's very well formed. Uh, that's what the pentacles um, allows us to uh, achieve is that sort of like shape, that, that form, that the physical form. Uh, so, so this is pretty good. Like this is a good... Um, of reading in terms of its balance um, and just like the patterns we have here right king and queen you've got both divine sets uh, the, 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 the divine genders nicely balanced like that so that's great to see um, and you know in, in a way they're complementary right the, the king and the queen that's a yeah it's just it's it, that's a nice symbol in itself right uh, meaning that like you have like complete uh, rule over like um, you know, like the domain, right? The, the the king and queen have to rule over the people, you know, uh, engage with them as well too, right? If you look at it that way. Um, but also the queen is, is um, th this is the well-grounded queen, right? 
uh, it's it's like a you know mature uh, almost got a sense of wisdom about that energy so it, it's one of the better queens um, in that respect comes from a good place and so it fits really nicely with uh, the you know the king of pentacles and its energy it's engaged energy uh, so so this is nice so if if you're you know working on communication then this is a good sign there, there's a very strong sense of balance if you've asked about yourself in any way then you could uh, draw from this that there's again like a like a good foundation a balance from you know both energies we've got um, divine masculine and feminine energies in all of us no matter how you identify it's just a part of kind of how you are you know made up in terms of like your astral energy right when you go into that realm of possibility and deal with that you've got um, you can tap into both of those energy sets uh, so it's, it's good to see that that's all kind of um, in play here if you've asked about somebody else or like a situation maybe something like that that doesn't involve yourself directly then um, you know you could say that like two people are involved um, in in that situation and like you know maybe they're connected in some way maybe they're not or like their partners or something but there's like they they represent like something that's like well formed and balanced right so you can um, take that out of you know if you if you're looking at yourself and the layers of yourself then you just take that out and kind of put it into the situation that you've asked about and you'll see kind of the same thing that it's just like it's it's well formed it's um, you know it's it's got a proper balance to it so there you have it that's the the uh, the the path and tarot suite with the new playing cards that uh, you'll be able to see them on make playing cards dot com pretty soon uh, you'll be able to get access to that uh, but for now you can use the links uh, below uh, to learn more and I'll see you in the next video